Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, hi. My name is Spikey and today I'll be hooking you up on a quality low budget ADC CNC spindle. I found a few options on AliExpress but they were also quite expensive. The American vendors and European vendors of such items or rebranded ones, they all range about like the 3 to 5k range which was a bit too much for me at the point. So I kept looking and eventually I found a cheap ATC spindle and that wasn't to my price range. So uh, I took the plunge and I got it. So today I'll tell you guys about my experiences, what went good, what went less good and uh, if this is a good buy or not. You know, I wrote an article about this on my website but I'll quickly go over it. This is a spindle I got, I got an uh, 8 pole uh, motor, 100 millimeters in diameter three and a half kilowatts. I'll go later into why I went to a eight pole one and not a four pole one. Um, I got it at the Lucentan AliExpress store. Um, this post was also featured on Hackaday, so those. Here we go, and you see even at 1500 RPMs, uh, the eight pole one already has like three and a half newton meters. For reference, the regular 80 millimeter, 24,000 RPM uh, router spindles that you see, uh, well, that most people use from Vevo or Rod Motor or uh, these kind of brands. Um, from, if I remember exactly, oh, listed it here, they have about like 0.7 newton meter peak torque at like 18,000 RPM. Here, even at 1500 RPM, you can see this one is already in like at least six times, five to six times the torque of the regular uh, router spindle, so to say, at peak torque at the high RPMs. As you can see, uh, this type of motor, the torque goes down a bit as you go higher RPM, but this, even you can see here, even at 18,000 RPM, is still two Newton meters, which is still at least triple of the regular 80 millimeter and two pole or four pole uh, CNC spindles. So when it came in, of course, the first thing you do is uh, inspect it. Uh, here's a picture of when I got it in, and really well packed, I was very surprised about that. And came into like some custom flight case, had a sticker on there, everything was packed in foam. The spindle itself was also packed in some uh, cellophane or uh, transparent foil like this. And uh, it came with FedEx if I remember correctly, so it only took a few days. And so that was quite easy. Mm, initial issues. I got the VFD also from the vendor directly. Uh, because you need a 1200 hertz capable VFD for this, which is not very common. And if you want to get it locally, be prepared to spend at least a thousand bucks on this. Uh, I got it from the same vendor at AliExpress and I only paid about 200 bucks, 250 bucks, which is quite normal for, well, so let's just say it's not, it's not a bad price. Um, it came already fully set up, so it was basically plug and play, they gave me like in the manual uh, a small description of uh, how to hook everything up but it's all straightforward just like any other VFD. Uh, all the parameters already was already programmed so that was really easy for me. I had some initial issues because when you get it of course you turn it on. Uh, the main issue that I noticed I got quite a bit of vibration and I'll insert a video here. You can probably hear it but it's this is actually not the correct tool holder that I'm going to talk about in the future. So to saying it was quite nerve wracking, I must say, because I th thought, did I just buy a shitty spindle? Did I just waste more than a thousand bucks on this? Uh, what's going on? Um, so I was talking in some forums and uh, trying to figure out exactly what's going on. Uh, because when I was, uh, I bought the machine with tool holders. So here you can see one of them. I got NBT30 uh, tool holders with, uh, with the spindle. I bought five of them. They were supposedly 25,000 RPM uh, balanced uh, tool holders, uh, but when I ran them above 8,000 or 10,000 RPM, I really it was really an audible, but also a vibration that you can feel through the whole uh, through the whole machine. At the time, here you can still see uh, part of it in the, in the picture. I was building a print and see, and you just start you felt the bed vibrating, etc. And at this moment, you're still not milling; you just have the motor turning at. Uh, at high RPM and that's not acceptable if you want to have like a decent quality of uh, finish on your CNC. Um, so the first thing I did, I got a Mitutoyo uh, dial indicator or test indicator or whatever the correct term for this is to basically verify 
either is there a lot of run out on the spindle itself, uh, on the tool holder, um, to basically see, because if there's a run out on it, it could also indicate imbalance. So I basically wanted to figure out what exactly is going on, what is the culprit, and is the spindle itself correct? and with spec because that's the most important part for me because of course that was the most expensive part uh, if the tool holders itself are not good a simple solution go back to the seller get a refund and, and that's how I dealt with it so first you can see one of the setup pictures I uh, also have a video about this I don't know let me, let me mute it uh, here you can see dial indicator 2 newton meter per division the main movement you actually see here is my finger touching things, my, my setup is not super stable, but you can see it's basically silent. Uh, I was talking to the vendor and the Renault Day spec is, is less than uh, 0.001 millimeter. Uh, and it, as far as I can see, uh, it is uh, fully meet that spec. So at least the spindle taper itself wasn't the issue. Uh, I also tested the holders and you well, I actually don't have any measurement data on that here. But the holders, they were more or less inspected. There were a few ones that were a little bit out. And these were specified to uh, 0 0.002 millimeters, if I uh, remember correctly. Um, but they were more or less within spec, so that was not the main issue. The specification of vibration for this spindle itself is, if I remember, 0 0.8 millimeter per second. And here you can see the actual well, it's not hard to differentiate, but it, it meets the spec of that. Uh, so the motor itself and the spindle taper, everything of that was all fine. That was not my issue. So I went to investigate further. And as you, you can see, even without the, the nut, only one of the tool holders actually met the specifications. So this was at uh, full speed, so this is at 18,000 RPM. As you can see, only one tool holder number six with no nut it fits within the one millimeter per second specification which would be acceptable for CNC machines uh, after I added the nut as you can see it's more than two millimeter per second uh, here even six millimeter per second which is more than two to six times of what is acceptable um, for a CNC machine so basically the conclusion is they are not good my tool holders uh, the NBT30, that, which was delivered with the spindle, which I actually purchased extra from uh, from the store. They simply didn't meet spread itself is okay. Uh, tool holders that were delivered with it simply are not. I had to go look for new tool holders. I eventually found these at the GDR official store. They are ISO 30, which also fits this um, this ATC. You only need to put a uh, just the, the pull stud of a BT30 on there, and then it's fine. Um, Balance to 30,000 RPM, just uh, just like that. Uh, if you look at the actual pictures, you can see here it has balancing marks on the nut, but also balancing marks on the uh, tool holder itself. Which means not only the tool holder is balanced, but also the nut. And it's really important in this kind of situation that the whole the whole holder is uh, balanced and not just one part of it. I tested these on my on my machine. Uh, the whole setup, including a tool inside, was all running with, a, uh, with less than one millimeter per second. So that all fit my uh, fit my application. Yeah. Conclusion: Was it a scam? Was it good? Was it bad? Well, overall, I'm happy with the purchase. Uh, despite the initial challenges, the spindle is of good quality, runs smooth, has low vibration specification, as has plenty of power. It fits all the specifications that the seller has shown to me and according to the data sheet and all of these specifications are really good especially for such a low price point.